Coach Trey. I'm a skill development trainer, also head women's coach, or interim head women's coach, and assistant men's basketball coach at Penn State Girl Allegheny. That bad. 17 for 73. And then from, from three, we was two for 27. From three. Oh, yeah, I was there for eight. My journey as a coach has been. I want to say hectic because I'm a basketball fanatic, so everything I love to do is basketball always. So it's been tough. It's been a learning experience, but my my guys and my girls, they both been competing it out and getting it done on the floor. We've been doing great. Hey, talk. Make sure y'all talk. Ready? M, yep. No, 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 that's L. <laughs> There you go. Don't forget to close out in that corner. Preparation for leading up to Penn State Du Bois was just being able to compete with defense. I feel like we were slacking a little bit the game before that with defense, so our most important thing was being able to stop. They had a quick guard that could score the ball. So our preparation for that game was to be able to stop and be able to stop the point guard and get wins and uh, get stops and try to score the ball on offense as much as we can. For playing a big team that's more size than us, because for the women's side, we're a smaller team. Uh, we try to focus on just like rebounding or being able to attack, being able to be quick, being able to make a mismatch so you can get to the rim or kick out for a shot. The cultivate a winning team, I feel like for us, it's been just trying to get our team to be together. I feel like a together team is always a winning team. Team that's prepared as a winning team. So we've been focused on just trying to get our team to be together, be loud, communicate. Those are the most important keys to winning. So we're trying to get everyone to buy into our culture, which is to go out there, play together, and compete together. To prepare for a game like that, we're, we're doing the, uh, drills like shell, defensive shell. So that's more of a drill where it's, it's four and four, but it's teaching you where to be, like spots to be, how to play help defense and stuff like that. We also do, I like to, to start every practice with a drill called MOX. So we do it's like closeouts, it's defensive slides, it's spraying down the floor, so stuff like that that works on being loud, communicating, and talking on defense. You guys see that? Like, when I became a skilled trainer, it was because I always wanted to impact the young people. I always wanted to teach people there's more to it than just, just X's and O's or being a top scorer and stuff like that. There's more to it basketball than just that. Uh, I always want to be that big brother to people that I never had. An individual who we're working with Coach Trey is ball handling, we're working a lot of shooting, going off screens just reading the defense. He helps us, you know, our combo moves, change of speed, just learning the game, especially the change of speed in the game, and just creating space and being consistent in our shots. Mainly a shooting guard, but he helped me read the court more. My court vision got a lot better. My ball hand got a lot better, and he just gained my confidence even more in doing a one and two. Take the retreat. Okay. So he's coming off. It's boom, boom. All right. The thing that our guys are on the men's side are good at is, I would say, probably just being able to compete together, uh, being able to make adjustments on the go.
Uh, coach on the men's side has been fun. Uh, and I, I've been around training men for years. So I, I didn't train players from the NBA all the way to playing overseas to playing high school basketball. So on the men's side, it's a little bit easier for me because I know the men's game more. I played in the men's game. They're, they're learning how to play together. They're learning how to compete. They're learning just everything on the court wise. We got players that do everything. We got a big that's that's terrific. He does everything. He rebounds. He scores. He can shoot. Uh, we got guards that can shoot. Like we got guards that could attack. Uh, so with us being young, we're figuring out. But our team knows knows how to get it done. I'm more of a skill development guy, so being as a coach, there's a lot more to being a coach than there is as a skill development. So I'm learning more just like X's and O's and how to when to call a timeout or when to make a substitution and when I know a person's tired or not, and just being able to be more basketball specific on a court and then instead of stuff just like skill training stuff like that. Uh, we started off the season very bad, and then as the second se second semester came on, we started doing a lot better, and we figured it out. And it was some some of that was because I was doing a lot of skill work with these guys and helping them learn the game and get better in skill wise. So the goal for Penn State at Greater Allegheny was for us to just compete, come in there and win, try to get a top seed for the playoffs, as well as competing to get into the championship and winning championship. The most difficult thing for me to figure out with the females was just adjusting to me just coming in as a head coach. I wasn't a head coach for the whole season, so that was different. So I had to learn that way. Also with uh, the girls just some of them not getting along, some girls are new, so, and I know the girls lost a lot of their key players, so we had to figure out how to get everybody to compete together and figure out how to win on a, on a team up. The more you're in the gym together, the more everything is easier on the court. So the more we stay focused, the more we stay locked in, the, the better they will be next year. We lost in the semifinals, so I know that hurts, but I know next year they're coming hungry, even more hungry. That's gonna make you, you got close to almost getting to the championship. So I know it's gonna be a good experience for women's next season. Mm -hmm.